Federal government created Igboho and Kano. Lado Joe claims and says the arrest will change nothing. It will continue until the federal government change the course of what they have started to ensure that Nigeria becomes a better place. The ball, they say, is in your court. Hello, my wonderful people. Uh, the matter reaching us now is that, you know, uh, uh, Lado Joe is saying, I don't see the pro federal government is not understanding this thing. That they caused the problem on, on ground. The problem at hand was their doing. They created it. So if you want to deal with it, it's not by arresting these people. Fine, identify the leaders. Call them in a round table to Abuja. Honor them. They will call the ass to order. Honor them and talk to them like human being. What is the problem? Why do you want out of Nigeria? Do you know if you leave out of Nigeria, it's going to destabilize the nation? What can we do? What do you see? What do you think we can do differently to ensure people do not feel this way? Whether you like it or not, their, their perspective is a concern that the nation, some persons have in mind. Whether you like it or not, their perspective is the heart cry of some people. So Ladijo is saying to Buhari, stop deceiving yourself. You created this. Manage it. Don't start causing problems. Manage it. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Federal government created Igboho and Kano. Ladejo claims, says arresting them will not change anything. You do the right thing, things will fall in place. Rashid Ladejo, who is a former governor of Oyo State, has said that the federal government created Yoruba Nation Agitator Chief Sunday Igboho and the Biafra agitator Onandi Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. In a statement, the former governor said Onandi Kanu and Sunday Boho deserves to be given amnesty and treated with love and respect. Then things will die down naturally, just like the federal government of Nigeria did to Boko Haram terrorists who have been enlisted in the army today. Oh, you think we don't know? Boko Haram members are our new army members. That's why they is killing indiscriminately. Lade just said this during an interview with some journalists on his street in the city of Ibadan. The federal government has believed to have adopted Nandi Kanu on June the 27th from Kenya, while Sunday Boho was taken into custody by security agencies in Kotonu, July the 19th. Lade just said that the agitators of Kanu and Igboho can be said to be due to the failure of the federal government to tackle insecurity. Also added that when Fulani headsmen attacked the people of the two agitators and were arrested, the federal government did not did nothing, did not act. Up until today, the Fulani headsmen have not been apprehended. He said the order comes from above to release the headsmen who were killing people. Who is giving this order from above? We all know where the order from above is. They were free to go. Those who have committed atrocities killed people. But if others do it to the Fulanis, they are held responsible. He said that Yoruba leaders, including uh, Feni Ferry and including the Alafi of Oyo, have been complaining about the atrocities of Fulani headsmen. But has anything been done? No. So why are you arresting Sunday or Onandi Kanu? The federal government must release them now and do the right thing so this whole issue can die a natural death. You've spoken well, sir, and I really applaud your, 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 your tenacity to speak the truth. Guys, in case you're not aware, do you know Boko Haram are part of your army today? Yes, they were enlisted now by Buhari, their uncle, their brother. Ah, they are in the army. You don't know. Ah, sorry. Yo. I thought you knew. They are part of the army today. Your brothers, the Boko, they, are part, they are part and parcel of the army. And Buhari put them there. But you say Sunday Boko has not carried a knife or a gun before. Eh? You said he's the one that should die. Is the one that should be in prison. Is the one that did A, B, C, D, Z. Can you see injustice in our country? Can you see that the government, they have an agenda? Can you see that they have a plan? And that plan is to ensure that they put others order, pressing them, suppressing them by all means possible. And guess what? You cannot do it for so long. 
you think you can oppress, spirit of oppression is allowed. You can only oppress as much as you want. But guess what? After a while, the people will bounce back. Nobody wants to be oppressed forever. They will bounce back and they will speak out. And they will cry out with one voice, saying enough is enough. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Whether you like it or not, that's the way it is. Nobody will sit back, fold their arms and allow you to, you know, to treat them in a disdain manner or pattern. You know, what is going on in Nigeria is a clear indication that our government do not even understand the basics, the fundamental basis of human relations. The mistake ever was to think that a military person has got what it takes to bring the country in order. He has a dictatorship idea. And this has been proven again and again and again by the president's administration that they never cared for Nigerians. All they really care for is not because they care for the people or want to ensure leadership true direction and ensuring that nigerians are safe no that's not that's not and never the idea the idea is to ensure that you know it's for them uh, i'm now the president i became the president i was a military president and now a civilian president it's all about self me 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 when people begin to talk and behave in that light and in that manner they are not going very far eh, because if you want to truly leave a legacy, it is the people you have supported here and there that will stand up later to be for you that voice that would say, ah, this was the person. They are the one who will carry on, who will, linger, who will keep the flame alive of what you have done. But when you as an individual fail to see truly really that there is need for you to assist and support somebody when you are gone who will speak up who, who, who will come and remind remember you remember your good deeds it is what you have done in time past that will speak for you if you have not done anything you should not be expecting anything to speak for you that's just the way it goes that's just the way it is there's no two way about it if you want to leave a legacy you start from today affecting that life positively in a positive, wonderful way. And before you know it, they are also standing up for you. These are the people that will stand up for you, come rain, come shine. But if you, if you, if you stand for nothing, you stand for nothing. And at the end of the day, the people will know that you don't even care about them. And that's the worst position you can ever be. When the people do not feel part of your agenda or your plans or that you never care for them, to your tent, to Israel, what portion do we have in you? And that's how it goes. Uh, so leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like, or share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.